Mike, uh, of course, a quick turnaround again off the, the back of Tuesday, obviously going into to Saturday, a, a home game at least, so not as much travelling for you, but off the back of Tuesday, how has the, the kind of atmosphere and the approach been the training this morning? Yeah, it's been good. Been um, lively, fresh, just obviously had a lot to condense in for the preparations, which we, we think is going to be our toughest test yet. Um, yeah, we know how difficult it's going to be. Obviously, they're uh, at a really positive start to the season, so we're focused, prepared and looking forward to it. Yeah, and you're touching on training this, this morning, of course, Greg and, and Callum Whelan having a, a bit of involvement after missing a, a couple of games. I mean, how are the, the pair of them sort of looking at the minute? They came through, yeah, yeah, no, no issues. So, yeah, it's just about making sure that we do it in the right way. I mentioned before with lads, we've just got a, they're two big, um, very influential players in our team. So we don't want anything to be at uh, risk. So we've just got to make sure that we do it the right way. But yeah, really positive that they've come through. Yeah, and you mentioned Ebsleet specifically, of course, off the back of, of last season winning the league, they'll no doubt kind of come into the start of this season with a lot of sort of momentum and, and positivity off the back of that still. But they've started this season pretty well as well with a couple of wins. And like you mentioned there, tough opposition, obviously a long trip for them on Saturday. But what are you kind of expecting the encounter really as a whole to be like? Um, two really good footballing teams. Um, like I say, I'm looking forward to it. They, They've got the same setup as us um, and they've got players that can handle the ball and uh, manipulate it out of individual situations and they've got a plan, you can see. They, they look very bright in set pieces. Um, they've got ways of, of uh, um, playing through the thirds um, and obviously, yeah, they've got a very, very um, effective striker who scored a lot of goals last year and um, it's going to be difficult to handle. So, like I say, um, they look as though they've got plans um, in, in all, all different areas to try and play through the thirds um, and we've got to make sure that we're switched on and we, we match um, our, our, our possession stuff just as much as we are in possession. Yeah, and in terms of outgoings as well, obviously you had a one on loan this week on, on Tuesday with Elliot Forbes going to, to Blythe on loan, played for them on, on Tuesday as well. What's kind of been the, the approach with him at the minute and thinking behind getting him out on loan and hopefully getting some regular games? Regular games, yeah. It's just getting minutes on the pitch. Like say Forbes, he, um, he's had a couple of really difficult years um, personally, and um, he just, you say, he just needs to get on the pitch. He needs to play back-to-back -back, uh, games and um, get to the level we know he can be, where he was for us when he was was uh, previously fully fit, um, and yeah, come back and, and make an impact here. Yeah, and as well on the the sort of injury front. Here, of course, Panny missed out in the, the squad on, on Tuesday. Um, is there sort of anything to, to touch on with, with him injury-wise or is it just a case of missing out for the sake of missing out, really? No, no, um, I think it's just precaution, really. Um, he had a, a bit of an issue, a soft tissue issue uh, in his chest um, and I think he's just been advised to take it easy for a couple of weeks and um, like I say, it's, it's not nothing serious and it's making sure that we just do it the right way and uh, he'll be back soon. Yeah, and anything else to, to sort of report on particular or is everyone kind of looking healthy as, and as, as fit as can be off the, the back of the midweek game? Yeah, yeah, like I say, it was a, a positive result. Um, we've analysed it and I think we there's still plenty that we can improve on. Um, we've looked at everything we can, like I say, in such a short turnaround. Um, but for us, yeah, we're just we're looking forward to it. We know how, how tough it's going to be. Um, and uh, yeah, I think um, Greg and Wheelow um, getting through is a huge positive. Um, and like I say, lads that are um, trying to get up to speed. Obviously, Connor's played more minutes, which is, is brilliant. Luke, um, again, another shift in um, and just making sure that we're refining our concepts and the way we play because it's, uh, it's going to be really difficult and looking forward to the test against Absolute. Yeah, and I mean, you, you mentioned Connor there. Obviously, you mentioned him on Tuesday after the game as well. I mean, how impressive has it been on his point of view that after coming in as a, a trialist and then starting pretty much as soon as the season's kicked off, that he's kind of picked things up quite quickly and been able to, to have a bit of an impact straight away, pretty much? Yeah, yeah. Um, credit to, to him. Like I say, uh, he, he's came in um, and the two appearances off the bench, he, he got his two goals. You can see. 
he has quality um, and probably didn't predict the amount of minutes that he would have played coming in, um, but he's been dropped into the deep end and it's a sign of a good player when you can come in and really adapt to what the manager wants and um, especially the demands out of possession that we put on the lads. Um, so yeah, it's, it's fantastic for him. Um, but like I say, we, we get Greggy, we get Wheelow, um, fit. obviously, you know, we're still trying to get minutes into Billy as well. Um, and we've got a really, really competitive squad, um, which uh, which we're looking forward to having. Yeah, and you mentioned obviously Greg and, and we all coming back into the the fold a little bit there as well. But I suppose a, a positive on on both sides that with them coming back, obviously key players in the the side as well. But off the back of a good performance in midweek, it's not necessarily a, a case of you know them walking straight back into the team, perhaps. Well, no, like I say, it's, uh, you know, they're, they're two huge um, and massively influential players for us and we, we know exactly what they're, they're about. So, But it's about, firstly, ticking the box of not risking anything because um, we've obviously got uh, a very quick turnaround Saturday, Monday, next week, two really difficult games. Um, but then also you've got to earn the right, you say, the lads that have been in um, and they put, a, you know, a good, good performance. Um, and they've got to come in and, and they know that, everyone knows that. And the lads that have got the shirts have got to keep hold of them and the lads that haven't have got to do everything they can to get it. And, and that's about as much as you know, we can give them, we just try and give them as much detail and as much uh, encouragement and confidence as we can. Um, but ultimately it's up to them.